y'all it is july 18th and i wanted to start this vlog because we are about to do something kind of fun well i guess it depends if it is fun i've never been and i actually have a surprise for ryan about where we're going he doesn't even know are you ready to find out yeah okay so i um like follow so many like austin accounts and one austin account said that the Blanton Museum of Art is having free entry and five dollar a glass of wine and pizza. For both. Yeah, but one slice and one cup, but like still, you know, five bucks. Wow. So that's where we're going. You're surprised, aren't you? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Good. Okay. So, um, it actually starts at five. So, you wanna go? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if y'all have seen this before, but it has like the colorful windows and it's literally like a white arch. Like, I don't know what it looks like inside, but that's kind of like the outside and that's like the only thing I know about it. I don't know about parking, so we might have to Birds call about that. Piano. Yeah, remember I, I always like show you, oh, like look at that. It's like the boxes that are all colorful and it's like the white arch. It's like on UT's campus, I think. Yeah, uh, I know you're pointing out. I said it's pretty nice. So we are on our way to the Blanton Museum and I wanted to kind of explain how I found out about this event. Um, there are multiple like Instagrams for things to do around Austin and my favorite one, I think it's called Austin when, what, where, or something like that. I will have a screenshot of the exact post I saw about this event and um, if you guys are in the Austin area, definitely check them out because they post some really valuable content um, and literally just like so many free events go on around Austin. It's insane. Like last night we actually went to Blues on the Green for the first time and it was really, really cool and it's a free event. It's at Zilker Park and we've never been there before. So it was just really cool just seeing the whole community out um, for like a free event like that. I definitely know that there are so many Instagram accounts out there that post information about different cities and like what's going on around the city. So I highly recommend checking those out. Definitely following them, keeping up with the, what they're posting because you could definitely miss out on some really cool events if you're not like actually keeping up with the account. Another good way to find stuff to do in the city is go on Facebook for the events. Just type in like Austin, Texas or like I think it's even like a my location button or like, near me button or whatever and it'll tell you like a list of everything going on throughout the weekend and then like as a whole page for it so you can read more about it, see if there's like to pay or anything like that. We are at Blanton Museum, it's in the back of us, and it's super cool. It's actually very, very minimalistic inside, and honestly, it makes sense because it's not super big, so I was like, damn, did they fit all of that inside? Because I've seen so many photos um, inside of the Blanton Museum, but I'm really confused. I guess all of this is the Blanton Museum, so they have this whole thing too, so we went in that majority of the time and that's where they have like the blue stairs and I'll insert that picture here well you guys probably already saw it from the footage but um yeah and so this is like literally basically just these um what's it called like mosaic glasses is that is that what it is Ryan stained glass. stained glass stained glass so it's stained glass and it's really cool because the sun right now is like directly going straight into the stained glass so it was like uh, putting like the colors onto the floor and stuff, so that was really cool. If you all ever get scammed into going to a museum for free pizza, that would do it. <laughs> Oops, I, I saw a girl drinking wine, but like I don't even know where it is. I wonder if it's where those people are all sitting over there. 
Yeah, let's go. Are you hungry or do I eat somewhere else? I feel like I'd rather eat for somewhere else because I thought we were gonna like drink wine while we like go look at art. Yeah. So now that we're done, it's like why spend the money and we'll just go eat somewhere else. Like may as well like check it out. I kind of wanted, I was interested to see what kind of pizza they were gonna get. So let's go. <sighs> Why'd you have to bring up that word? Yeah, yeah I want sushi. <laughs> It's so hard for me to like not go ballistic when people say sushi. Right when it's said, I like immediately crave it and can't stop thinking about it. It's like a really bad addiction. <laughs> so we decided since we didn't get pizza that we were gonna go to sushi and I'm so pumped. We're gonna try a new place, sushi, what's it called? Chennai. Chennai. And if you guys have any sushi recommendations in Austin, please let me know. I'm always on the search for like my splurge place and my go-to place. Like the go-to place ranges from like $5 to like $11, $12 max. But like what I think is expensive sushi is like starting at like 11 goes up to like 18 You know what I mean? So hopefully this place is our go-to. I think this place is a little bit farther from our place. So hopefully we can find something closer to like south. East Austin, I think that's where we live, um, but I'm ready to get sushi.